Hi, and welcome back to another unboxing episode of Filipino Time. Today, we get to unbox the Seiko Aguila Sumo SPB345J1. So without further ado, the moment you've all been waiting for, a closer look at the Seiko Aguila Sumo. So just a brief background before we get into it. This is the third Philippine exclusive brought to you by Seiko Philippines and it is a limited edition up to 1,000 pieces. So you must be wondering why Seiko Philippines decided to go with this overall theme. Well, it's actually a collaboration with the Philippine Eagle Foundation where Seiko Philippines actually adopted a rescued Philippine Eagle which was appropriately named Eiko. So the Philippine Eagle, also known as Haribon, is the national bird of the country, yet sadly is currently critically endangered. So this project ought to benefit the Philippine Eagle Foundation and the Philippine Eagle itself since part of the sales of the watch will go to the foundation in support of their research and of their dedication in protecting the Philippine Eagle. This is also a partnership with Echomatcher since every watch purchase allows for a tree to be planted in the Sierra Madre region. So the tree can actually be monitored by the watch purchaser, the watch owner, and I'll be showing a video soon as to how you can be able to do so once you get the watch. So without any further delay, let's get right into it. First things first, the box. We have this grand box with the golden icon of the Philippine Eagle and a gold branding of Seiko. When you open it, first you get this card which shows the collaboration of Seiko Philippines with the Philippine Eagle Foundation and as well as Echo Matcher. In the grand box, we have the main box. So let's take that out. Of course, you have your papers and manuals. With the main box, we take out this sleeve, showcasing how it's a limited edition piece. And once more, the Philippine Eagle with its scientific name printed on the sleeve. And there we have it. Once again, the, an icon of the Philippine Eagle with its scientific name in gold. So the watch comes with the stainless steel bracelet and along with a brown rubber dive strap, of course, by Seiko. And here it is, the Seiko Aguila Sumo. This is actually based on the third generation Sumo, with the dimensions being 45 millimeters in diameter, 13.5 millimeters in height, and 20 millimeters in lug width. So both the bracelet and the rubber strap are 20 millimeters in width obviously it's predominantly red and maroon and Seiko Philippines have been using these bright colors that some say are supposed to represent the Philippine flag if you think about it the Tubataha release came out in a blue 
colorway while we also have the yellow sunrise turtle and finally this red Aguila sumo with all three colors playing a significant part in the design of the Philippine flag. So in this release, we have a stainless steel case and bracelet with your standard sumo bracelet clasp. You have a screw down crown at four o'clock. And as a diver's watch, we have Bloom, which we'll show by the end of the video. Now more into the intricate details, you have your two-tone bezel insert with a brighter red from the 12 o'clock all the way to the 4 o'clock position. As for the hands, the R and the minute's hand are both silver, while the second's hand is gold. What makes this piece so special would be the mandala dial design. If you can see the pattern on the dial, which I think is reminiscent of the Philippine Eagle's crown of feathers on its head. It's such an interesting pattern. Now let's see the case back. So you can see limited edition and this is actually number 999 out of 1000 so the second to last piece ever produced in this line as for the movement it comes with the standard 6R35 automatic caliber that comes with the third generation sumos. It gives off a 70R power serve and it has manual wind with hacking. So now I want to compare it with a first generation sumo, which I have with me here today. This is the classic SBDC001 non X Zumo first generation. So there are obvious differences between the first generation and third generation. A lot on the exterior. We have a significantly different bezel insert with the font of the numbers the indices and the pip we also have a slightly different handset if you look closely similar designs but not exactly the same for example the second hand on the third generation seems to be quite seems to be a little bit wider than that of the first generation. While the first generation minutes hand seems to be wider than that of the third generation. And there's also a different design on the R hand. Also have different sized indices if you look closely. Different size and different design overall. 
We also have a different crown. The one on the first generation still has the Seiko S. While on the third generation, it's neat, it's clean. The first generation actually came with a Hardlex crystal, while the third generation finally came with this upgraded Sapphire crystal. Everything else externally is similar with the case, the bracelet, the clasp, and both still have a 200 meter water resistance. Now for the movement, the first generation uses the automatic 6R15 movement that offers 50 hours of power reserve and 23 joules. And as mentioned a while ago, the third generation, including the Aguila, uses the improved 6R35 movement with 70 hours of power reserve and 24 joules. But other than that, everything else is the same with manual wind, hacking, and offering 21,600 beats per hour. So now we take a wrist roll on my 7 inch wrist. I've always been a fan of the sumo. And I think Seiko, Seiko Philippines has done very well with this particular piece. So once again, thank you to our friends from Seiko Philippines for inviting us over to the exclusive launch of this magnificent piece. And with that, our friends, that marks the end of this video. We hope you enjoyed. If you did, feel free to subscribe, hit the like button, and give your thoughts about this piece in the comments below. With that, we'll see you next time. Now for some bonus content for whoever stayed after the unboxing. We'll be unboxing the gift set that Sego Philippines handed out to the guests of the exclusive launch. So this is actually the giveaway for the participants and it comes in this really nice wooden box with Seiko Prospects embedded on top. So of course, all of us were wondering what the giveaway could be. And to our surprise, it was this whiskey set. So we have another card featuring Echo and the collaboration with Echo Matcher, which allows us to have another tree. In the gift set, we have a coaster featuring Seiko Prospects, two whiskey glasses. your ice tongs and what I found very appealing to the set were these ice rocks so these are what you freeze and put with the whiskey instead of plain ice so that your drink is cold but it doesn't get diluted as compared to using ordinary ice that melts and the pouch for your rocks so now you can say that you're drinking whiskey literally on the rocks <laughs>